book, The New Freedom, Woodrow Wilson wrote, Since I entered politics, I have chiefly had men's views confided to me privately. Some of the biggest men in the United States in the field of commerce and manufacture are afraid of something. They know that there is a power somewhere so organized, so subtle, so watchful, so interlocked, so complete, so pervasive, that they better not speak above their breath when they speak in condemnation of it. And who would know that better than the political puppet, Woodrow Wilson, who dropped his guard and opened the floodgates for the international banking cartel known as the Federal Reserve to come in and take control of America's money supply. Remember what Amschel Rothschild said? He said, in, in the area of finance, if I control a nation's money, I care not who makes its laws. And that's true. The international banking cartel, known as the Federal Reserve, are virtually in control of everything. They are the biggest problem we have in this country. But when you turn on ABC, CNN, CBS, and Fox News, they're constantly throwing you red herrings to get you off the trail, to get you off of the biggest story that should be talked about until it's completely eliminated. They want you to think about building the wall. They want you to think about voting every four years or every two years. They want you to think about the fact that you're a Democrat or you're a Republican. The primary objective of mainstream media is to distract, deceive, and divide you. And that is the primary objective of so-called government. Guys, we need to wake up. We are not united because of mainstream media, because of the propaganda. We are not united because people believe in this concept called government, where it's okay to initiate unjust force or violence on peaceful people who haven't done anything wrong, as long as you call yourself an agent of government. We need to wake up. Our biggest problem is not a government shutdown. That would be one of the biggest solutions to our problem, is a government shutdown. Basically, we hit this huge iceberg over a hundred years ago, and they have us straightening deck chairs on the American Titanic as it's sinking. It's, it's very disheartening to study the things that are actually going on in the world. It's kind of, um, it's a blessing and a curse to be woke. And I'm not saying I'm 100% woke and I know everything there is to know about what's going on. There are a lot of questions you guys ask me that, that are head scratchers. You know, how does that fit in with um, the ideology of do no harm? I think it fits because do no harm can't be without and take no shit. You have to take a stand. Yeah, you're not going to harm anybody, but you're not going to let your, your family, your loved ones, your neighborhood, your community get ransacked by violence. One of the biggest reasons we have violence, one of the biggest reasons we have gangs, one of the biggest rises, for example, in the 1920s and early 30s of, of uh, you know, mafia, crime syndicate, booze runners was, was government. They make things illegal and then a black market springs up, which is really just the free market that's being condemned by the, the evil market controlled by government. And then you have people who are just entering into mutually consensual relationships with other people having business deals. Somebody wants to buy a bottle of moonshine from another person, but the third party, which is government, says it's illegal, so you're a criminal. I'm taking you down. Guns come out and violence ensues. Much of the violence that we have in this world much of the drug abuse and addiction that we have in this world is thanks to the CIA drug running. You know, you could say, the government sits there and says, just say no to drugs. Just say no to what drugs? The drugs you're bringing it in but with Barry Seal and CIA? It's just, it's all so hypocritical. It's like, when you turn on the TV, most of what you see is just absolute deception. I just want to let you know, I really appreciate you guys. I love you. Let's keep fighting for the truth.